All right, Rocket fans, there's your first pitch of the game. As Catholics takes on Little Rock Central today at Lamar Porter Field. Mason Chambers getting the start, his first start of the year for the Rockets. First pitch, fastball, swinging, miss. Ball one high. Rockets in the midst of a week that's going to see them play four, ga You're right. four games. Busiest week of the season. There's a gr slashed foul down the first baseline. So busy week that's going to test pitching staffs. Playing Central today, Bryant tomorrow. Thursday, we go to Robinson, and then Friday back home to face Jonesboro. So three home games. Strike three called. Fastball down the middle. That's a nice start for Mason. As Gabe Lawrence goes down. For Chambers, this is his seventh appearance on the season, but his first start. Nice Curveball dro drops in there for a strike. Mason has gone nine innings. He does have a win. Fastball fouled off behind the screen. Mason throws hard. 85 to 88. Has a 16 strikeouts in his nine innings. Curveball that stays up, pops out of Owen Pierce's glove. So he doesn't give up a lot of hits. His issues have been command. around command and control. Yep. 13 he, walks to go along with 16 strikeouts. It's like he gets he starts trying to throw too hard and place the ball instead of just letting Swing it. Swing and a miss on the slider. Not no then. problem there. No problem there. UCA commit, Luke Lawrence. Why are you got your why? That brings up Luke Lawrence. Chambers. Mason Chambers. You just so walk, no, that's her. That's Luke her. Lawrence up to plate. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Fastball inside, ball one. I look over at Chris and he just is like shaking his head, like having a conversation had, with himself. On, on both of our strikeouts, we threw the ball into left field. Ground ball fouled on the third baseline. So Luke uh, had a long outing against Jonesboro Friday, so he's not available today. His fourth day arrest, he sh would he be available Thursday? Is it like... The fourth day, Wednesday, or is it on the fourth day you're available? Fastball low. There is no actual rules. That MLB, MLB quick pitch guidelines state four days rest for yeah, this age group. If you throw if you throw 90 plus pitches, they want you to have four days rest. Nice Swing pitch. and a miss. Vicious cut on that high fastball. Vicious cut. Helmet almost popped out. Two and two. Did Central beat Jonesboro? I don't. I, I don't remember. I'll look. Oh. I can't keep it straight anymore. He tried to go even higher on that one. That one hit the bull. Full count. Oh, I just totally made it up that they played Jonesboro. They actually beat North Little Rock Friday 7-4. to four. They have Jonesboro after us on Tuesday. Ball four outside. Kind of makes me wonder what else you've been making up this season. What? Kind of makes me wonder what else you've been making up this season. Oh, I make up all sorts of things. Off and wrong, never in doubt. Oh, which, by the way, if a first baseman can make an unassisted out, why can't an outfielder? It comes off the bat to the player like it does an outfielder. Why would it not be unassisted? Because you can, when there's a ground ball, you have an assist. When there's a fly ball, there's never an assist. Two people cannot catch a fly ball. Two people can be involved in a ground oh, ball. Oh, I out. hate that logic, but yes, I do. I do respect that. I get that. That does make sense. 
I will accept that. That is a distinction with a difference. Dang it! Ball one high to Cameron Rusi. Your starting he's grown a foot. Starting pitcher. Oh! That one got him in the left arm. Hey, near the uh, shoulder. Wearing a Jackie Robinson's number today is Jackie Robinson Day, is it not, Chris? It is. It's today, Jackie Robinson Day. That is number forty-two. All right. So still two outs. Brings up third baseman Brock Bickelmeyer. I'm not saying Cam Russi was ever heavy by any means, but he has gotten not only taller, but he is leaner, but still just gigantic. Anyway, courtesy runners come in for him at first. Nothing happening. Fastball stays low. So Mason has started off with two quick strikeouts. Next two runners reach on a walk and a hit by batter. So there's a ball on the outfield grass in right field. Oh, not a baseball. I was looking for a baseball. Nope, a beach ball in the field. I think it's four square. It's quite bouncy. Kickball. Jackson England out there. I wish he would have kicked it. 1 0 count. That's a fastball. It drifts on the outer half of the plate. That's affirmative. So we're. Your rocket defense this afternoon is going to be Bauer Day in left, Brooks Ward in center, Jackson England is in right. Here's the 2 0 pitch. There goes the runners. Fastball's in there. Throw down. Luke Lawrence steals third. Good throw by Owen, but too big of a jump. As Jackson given to third base, catching and making the tag on the head first sliding Luke Lawrence. Given to third, Miles Raymer at short, Cody Fulgeman at second, Joe Castillo at first. Now it's two and one on Bicklemeyer. Now the play is at first. Curveball nice stays pitch. inside. A little high. You got the little flinch that Lauren likes. I love it, but I also thought it was pretty close to hitting him too, so. Yeah. Three and one. I wasn't gonna like dog him out for that. Brock is coming here with a nine and seven overall record, coming off a, a tough loss to Cabot. Yes, a that's a bullet. Fastball right in the inner half. Full count now. Thanks to everyone that tuned in um, Friday when Cabot, we are well aware that we had sound issues. We were just happy that the stream held the entire time. That was the best stream we've ever had in Cabot. Now I see why the batter was nearly hit by the pitch. Look where he's standing I know, there. he is like he's not, right up He's on not it. in the batter's box. The 3-2 pitch, yes, swing and a miss. Big. Strike three, big strike out for Mason Chambers. That's what you want to see. Comes back and gets the, ends up striking out the side. And so we're.
All right, Brooks Ward steps in for the Rockets here against Cam Russi. First pitch high. Brooks' last at bat was a two-run home run in Cabot in the seventh inning. The bottom of the seventh. Yeah. Fastball catches a corner inside one and one. Bottom of the seventh because we were playing a home game out in Cabot. That home run made it three to two. There's a ground ball foul down past Coach Z. I love that. That's caught on. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. So fetch. <laughs> and, you're, you, and you're saying I got dad shoes on and you want to talk. He does have dad shoes on. They're the giant New Balances with burnt orange as the exit One, two color. Pitch. Nice change up. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Joe stops to visit with Brooks to talk about the pitch and what he's seeing. That brings up Joe Castillo. Joe's leading the team in hitting with a 372 average. Fastball outside. Rockets weren't able to get much offense going as Joe follows one back against Kale Turner and Cabot on Friday. Ended up with only four hits. And really that's, that has been the problem when curveball slashed foul past the light standard over the American flag. When the Rockets haven't fared well. It's been usually because of the lack of offense. There's a ground ball on the 1-2 pitch. That's foul. You know, but that's, that's a Cabot game every year. I yeah. totally agree we have, um, but we've been in a positive trend. We just, we played a, a classic Cabot game. Here's a 1-2 pitch to Castillo. That ball bounced about six feet in front of the plate. Right now we have a team batting average of 226 hmm. with an on base of only 347. Castillo lifts one to right field. That's gonna float out of play into the batting cage where there's a couple people working out down there. Gabe Lawrence still went after it. Lawrence brothers having their first full year together. It's awesome. There's a fastball that skips past the catcher to the backstop. Joe's worked it all the way back to three and two. What do we call this, Lauren? Payoff pitch. Quality well, at bat. Okay. But you're right, it is I mean, a payoff pitch. It is a payoff pitch. It's full count. All of the above. There's a lot of ways to do good things and work in eight plus pitch counts. And there Joe takes ball four high. They'll bring up senior Grant Almendinger, working as a DH tonight. Almendinger working from the left side. Castillo dives back in in the throw over. Yeah, he has a lot of ground, but he's a tall kid, so doesn't take much for him to get back on the bag. Grant's been pretty much relegated to the field in the batter's box this year. Hasn't been able to pitch with some arm issues. Oh, I didn't know that. I wondered. Fastball high. There's Grant's He's got a big pass. old smile up there. I don't know what they just yelled at him. Nice lead by Castillo. Slide step and Grant follows him straight back. Aiming for Lane's camera. Lane's camera can only fall victim to the wind. It's a giant magnet, and the wind was so strong last week that it blew off its connection. Castillo's there, throw back over, he's in. That was closer. 
So, um, you know, I posted the, um, the missed call when Jackson Givens was um, on first. Um, it got under some skin, but I took the high road. Fastball high. From, from, from who? From a player on the opposing team. And, of course, it was nothing critical about our, our team that we lost to. But he, this particular person gave me a wah-wah under it. So I said, bless it, and wished him all the best in life. Way to take the high road, Lawrence. Big cut by Grant. Good pitch. Big swing. That makes it 2-2. Well, I still feel weird, like, talking to, like, a 17-year-old on social media. Well, he apparently doesn't feel weird about I don't think he realizes, like, I'm a 42-year-old mother. Here's a 2-2. That's bunt and dirt. Nice block by the catcher. That's the Eli Angel. Castillo at first base. He's new to me. Full new count. Let's see if Coach Jones puts Joe in motion here on the full count. Okay. Nothing doing. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So two outs now. Right fielder Jackson England will step to the plate. Good cut. We're getting the Rockets are getting some good swings early going here. They are good swings. Good hard swings, and I like the aggressiveness. That is one thing that we've not been doing this season. So yes. let's go after it early in the count. This pitcher's not throwing hard. Easily can see the ball. There goes Castillo, curveball. Oh, nice throw. throw by Eli, but it bounces in. It was a nice throw if you like I'm um, about five feet short of the bag. Well, okay, look. It it had the bounce, was on line, okay? It was in the it was in a straight line at the second base, I'll give you that. Chris Gaines there, second base for central. You know that this Chris here demands perfection <laughs> from everyone. <laughs> All right, way to battle. Ingen follows it straight back. I guess they called that pitch to, that pitch a strike. No, it's one and two. Joe Castillo at second base after reaching on a walk. Two outs. One two pitch coming up to England. Rusty steps off. Overcast. It's, it's actually, yeah, it's it's actually perfect for the cameras, but curveball that stays inside. That was high and inside. High and inside. So it was clouds have really come over. We had the lights on from the start of this game out here at historic yeah. Lamar Porter Field. It is historic. It actually looks pretty good out here. We've had a lot of rain last week. Here's a two-two. Another curveball. That one stays inside as well. Counts back to full. Jason Givens on deck. Let's go, England. Let's go, Nolan. Here's a pitch. Good contact. England follows a fastball into that batting cage down the right field line. Hey, keep working, Nan. Good job, Nan. Two outs. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Nope. Again, Rusty steps off. Yeah. No one's really holding Joe on. Yeah. Which I get with 3-2 count and two outs. You know how I feel about it. Here's the pitch. Yeah, England gets the that one's going to get to the fence. That's going to score Castillo. That one oh, goes over. Fence. There's a home run. Oh, that one over the top wall. Jackson Gibbons. Jackson England. Jackson England. I'm so excited. Way to 
B. That would be his first varsity home run of his career. Is that right, Dad? That's his first Catholic home run. Okay, well, varsity. Or freshman or JV. Okay, excellent. And so man, off, he off crushed the, it. Off the bat, it was a line drive. And off the bat, I thought for sure that was up against the fence because it was a line drive. It got over the tall part of the fence. Yeah, Co Griffin did not have a chance at that. No, that was a, that was a minimum double off the bat. Wish Turns I had a out. track, man. Oh, and we Guinness got the charge in the one. That's back. Here's Best Jackson Givens. Back against the wall. Cut off the wall. Unable to get it. And Givens is going to be in with a stand-up double. Way to go, Givens! Jackson and Givens. And that was deep. If he pulls that one, that's a home run. That one's deep against the center field wall. Hey, that's fun. England's kid just trying to show up mine, though. England's what? England's kid just trying to show up my kid. Like, I got Okay. Don't you worry, I have it. I have it. I have it. Don't you worry, guys. So in back-to-back -back pitches, we put one over the center field wall, one up against the center field wall, and there's two outs, runner on second base for Cody Fulgham, who shows bunt, pulls back, and takes a ball replay? high. Tried to it didn't work. Nope. No dice. So again, we're aggressive swings with good results. Two nothing Rockets now, runner on second base. Throw back over. Givens is in there. No, the throw gets away and goes into center field. And England is in Kivens is going to make I'm it I'm sorry. I, I mean, but he is your son. But it is confusing. Yeah, well, they've only known each other since they were three. I, this is true. So now Givens moves down to third base, still with two outs. Fogelman with a 1-0 count. Here's a pitch. Ball nice, low in the nice dirt. Nice job by Eli Angel. Is a 2-0. That ball, that ball gets back to the backside and Givens is going to come home and score standing up. 3-0 Rockets. So Givens is going to score in the wild pitch. And now it's 3-0. 3-0 count. Gum is working. Overtime for Cody Fogelman. All three runs coming with two outs. Here's a 3-0. There's a strike. Absolutely strike. You know there's a good thing when in the bottom of an inning, my watch tells me I'm in a loud environment. Oh, good. Here's a 3-1. Oh, my goodness. Fulgerman lifts one into left. Left fielder's under it. Squeezes in for the third out. But the Rockets do score three on a walk, a home run by Jackson England. All right, and we're back as Mason Chamber goes to work for inning number two. DH, Justin Young. The slider stays high. 
Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening to the replay. The replay of Lauren calling Jackson Gibbons a home run, even though it was England. Well, I mean, I was almost just going to, like, just he almost it. had another one. I, yeah. I was just going to edit that over. Went on Gibbons double. One and one now. In the pitch. Oh! Ouch. Gets him in, like, the back of that the That got neck. him in the neck, and it scooted up into his neck. Yep. Yep. Justin Young getting up, taking a second. Umpire's telling him, whoa, buddy, chill out. Just relax. You're good. We can take a break. Kind of a disgusted fling of the bat. I think if you get hit in the scruff of your neck by a ball, like, you can disgustingly throw the bat. I agree. And it, it wasn't even, like, a big throw. <laughs> But I mean, like, I do ugh. think I do think with a slider, not a fastball, so that's good. This is Chase Cozart, first baseman. Right, Cozart like with a Z. Looks like Justin Young is good. Fastball just misses a little inside. Here's the pitch. Nice pitch. There's the fastball that does catch a heart of the plate. Nice job. So the Rockets are going to have to kind of piece together their rotation so far this year. Swing and a miss. Only five pitchers for the Rockets have more than one inning pitched for varsity this year. Mason, Duncan, Asher, Asher Caleb, Caleb, and England. Yep. And so. Now, well, wait a minute. How many innings did Brooks, did the Burks kid pitch? I'm sorry. I said one inning. I should have said more than two. So Cannon Burks has pitched two and a third. Brody McGee pitched two. Gets Jake Fears pitched one and a third. Oh, as Mesa gets a strikeout. So only five have pitched more than really more than two and a third innings. Well, so. the expectation is that the Bryant game will be rained out tomorrow. Fastball high, ball one. That we'll be looking to make that up on Wednesday. Then we go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That doesn't well, really help. I understand, but there was like some just, I don't know what the weather is on Thursday. But if we do play four games this this week, we're going to get some long Nice outings. pitch. We're going to have to get some what? Long, long outings. Long outings from some, some starters. Like we have depth. One and two. Long look in for Mason. Jesse Young at first for the Tigers. He checked for There's the runner on second base. That wasn't there. I nice thought I said one and two, and now it's one and two. Mason froze him on the slider there. Very unusual stance here. Batter's left foot is nearly out of the batter's box. His right foot is against the plate. Here's the pitch. Must be low. Yeah, it looked it looked outside from here. So the because I have a very broad view of the plate since his stance is what it is. Very unusual. He's on. No, he's not on the plate. He get, his right toe is about no, an inch away not, from the plate. No, it's not. It's not on the plate. It's like three inches. Fouled off the catcher and the umpire there. So if you're friends of the Catholic High Baseball Program, then you're aware uh, of the Bitten Bananas. And there's a young man on the Bitten Bananas that is fighting a, a tough diagnosis. But this week got the news that um, the tumor has reduced by, I'm going to get the centimeters part wrong, right? But I think it's 0.143 centimeters and very, um, like has shrunk it considerably super small now which is fantastic news for this young man. So thinking about you, Tucker, you got fans in the Catholic High program. 
Tucker got a wonderful shout out from the real Savannah Bananas head coach. That was so cool. Here's a 3 2 pitch. That's definitely an inch off the plate, but it's much closer. Fouled into the screen above the first base dugout, which is not the Catholic Rockets dugout. <laughs> yep. Everybody, if you're playing game at home, bingo. It's that time of the, the game where Chris brings us up. You just, it's not so big of a deal today because of the overclass, overcast clouds, but really. But see, team. all of our gear is over there on that side. I know. Got to be by the our bullpen. bullpen. The bullpen. I know it. It's poor planning when the park was made. Oh, yeah. Beautiful yeah. pitch yes. by Mason. Yes, Strike down. three. Three two slider broke right over the plate. Here Big pitch from Mason. Second baseman, Chris Gaines. Two outs now. Runner still at first base. So far, every rocket out has been recorded via the strikeout. First pitch is low, ball one. Nice pitch. Fastball leaks outside. Lane's dad wants it nice and easy over the middle. That'd be preferred. Maybe down then. <laughs> Is it 2 0? There's a strike. Well, you know what? That was nice did, and easy. Nice and easy and over the middle. Down the middle. I think he did take something off of that one. He did. One. He sure did. Lane says, don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a 2-1. Late swing on that high fastball. Very late decision. That was up in the net. 2-2. Two and two. The good news is my dad's voice carries, so that's real fun. <laughs> Your dad's voice, is that a pitch that definitely, like, does carry? And I've heard it my whole life every time I competed in every sport. With that sw right now, Mason just needs to throw a fastball by him. Don't yeah, slow the bat down do with anything. it off speed. yeah. Well, he didn't listen Shows to you. Shows what I know. Shows you, Chris. Showed me with a curveball, strike three. Three more strikeouts for Mason, two to nine. Okay. Not the shortstop. The, the left fielder. That's the left fielder. Sophomore Bauer Day with. You can. Was that Rastafarian music I just heard? That was Bob Marley. Bob Marley, thank you. I couldn't think of it. First pitch comes across for strike one. Bauer Day getting the start in left today. Cameron Rusty still working here in the. And Bauer hits one down to third base. Is scooped up on three hops, and Brock Bickelmeyer throws him out. Nice play by Brock Bickelmeyer. Miles Rain. Oh no, Owen Pierce, catcher. The 
brings up senior Owen Pierce. Curveball drops in there for a strike. Slow looping curveball. Hey, that's not yours. Umpire's brushing somebody back there in the rocket dugout. Here's a 1-0-1. One, oh one. Skips in there. Owen, one of three seniors that's regularly playing for the Rockets. And he hits one the other way. That could be trouble in the Bermuda Triangle in right field. That's going to drop. That's a single. So didn't get a lot of it. Let it go! Oh! Got that off the end of the bat, but just putting the right spot out of the reach of the first baseman, the second baseman, and the right fielder. Hey, way to go, Owen Pierce. Here comes Miles Reimer. Let's go, Reimer! And Bowman Stein. Stein's going to run for Owen, the catcher. Is that more Bob Mar Marley? You, do you think I that th that might be a theme? Bauer and Miles both have Bob Marley walk-up songs. Miles, a junior shortstop. Throw, it, throw gets away first base, and Bowman's going to make it down to second. And that's deep. He's oh, going to come to he's third. He's going to go to third. Yep. He picks up the coach. The right fielder picks it up, and no chance. So the pickoff move skips by the first baseman, goes all the way down the right field line, and the right fielder had to catch that. By the time, and that time, by the time he got it, Bowman was already rounding second. Yeah, he did not slow down. So Stein moves to third base now with one out, and Miles has got a. Coach I'll be at, opportunity. Coach at Owen, coaching third base today. Fastball stays high. Second and shorter playing back with only one out. Very short in right field. Here's the 1-0. Ball two. Brooks Ward on deck at the top of the lineup. Miles holds off. Good take on that. 3-0. Looking around the conference, Conway up 3-0 against North Little Rock in the bottom of the second. Non-conference, Gag Cabot is playing Little Rock Christian. They are down 0-3 in the third. And that must have been outside. So ball four to Miles Raymer. Brings up Brooks Ward. Brooks walked, I'm sorry, Brooks struck out last time up on a changeup. You know he's itching to get back in there. Yeah, these are not their walk-up songs because he is, is like that Kanye West like yeah. intro. Even if it's not a day. Yeah, no, that, that know, sounded exactly like it. I know. Yep. Everybody at home knows exactly what that is. It was like a social media everywhere. Ball too high. Even if it's not for the day. What is it? You don't know how much it rattles a pitcher throwing that ball away at first base. He hasn't thrown a strike since that error. And Raymer is moving. Brooks well, fouls it off. Well, other than Joe Castillo, there was, hasn't been a runner put on, correct? I mean, because of the home runs. I mean, other than, okay, Castillo and Givens with the double. Right. Yeah. Those. I mean, he's got runners on the corner. Like, that's also an uncomfortable position. It is. Throw over. Raymer was moving with that last pitch in the first and third situation. Two and one to Brooks. Here's a pitch. Fastball stays high. Nothing happening on the base paths. Three and one now. Okay. 
Hatton needs his social security number. 3-1, and that stays inside. That ball actually gets away. That skips off the catcher's glove, and Bowman Stein's going to score standing up. And Miles Ray will be the catcher's not hustling, and Miles is. Heads up play. Nice job by Raymer. The catcher was very lackadaisical going after that ball. That ball was a, it was a pass ball. It was not a bad pitch. It went off of his glove, went straight back to the backstop, and he's kind of jogged after it. And Miles went from first to third on the pass ball. So that brings up Joe Castillo. Now we got Brooks Ward at first, Miles Rimmer at third. It's now four to nothing, Rockets. Expect Brooks to go pretty quickly in this ball one high. He'd bring it down if he could. That's the Central fans are imploring him to throw it lower. There goes Brooks. No throw. Called strike on the inside. That was a bit of a generous call, too, but Joe took it. Gets Brooks down to second. So now he's running to second and third with one out. Here's a pitch. Joe cut at that high fastball and missed. Two and two now. Joe chokes up a little bit with the two strikes. Here's a pitch. Where's that? And that hit him. Dead ball. Dead ball, Raymer. Going to go back. Miles was nearly saying at home plate. So we've now had two walks and hits batter. To go along with the throwing error. Sorry, three walks. Because Owen walked as well. No, Owen had a single. That's right. Owen single to start the base runners for the Rockets. Single, two walks, and hit batter. Ball high. It's 4 nothing Rockets in the bottom of the second. Grant. Q shot, nubs it down the third baseline off the end of the bat. Grant struck out his first time up. Follows that one straight back. It's one and two now. Now in the mode of just getting a little contact. Curveball stays outside. Two and two. Fastball, that's high. Well, the central fan is right. All the misses are high. Full count now with one out. Yeah, he's just not finishing that pitch. And Grant, there's a so foul there. ball. Is that going to get out of play? Well, it's not going to get out of play, but the first baseman wasn't able to get over there in time. So Grant gets another shot at it. We'll do the 3-2 pitch again. Here it comes. And Grant turns on that one, rips it, and hurts a tree out there, knocks some limbs down, but... Well foul. So Patton needing his uh, identifiable like information for the government. He is umpiring 11-year-old baseball in Maumel tonight. Grant lifts a shallow fly ball. The second baseman ranges over for it, and he makes the catch. Not able to tag on that as Gaines gets it in. So not able to push a run home. That brings up Jackson, England. England homered. Kind of an opposite field. It was over the right center field fence. Takes a fastball inside. He homered on a 3-2 pitch. 
you know, for those that know the Lamar Porter field. I think it was the seventh pitch of the at-bat. If you divide the outfield fence into thirds, the left third and the right third have a low fence, and then the middle third has about a 30-foot high fence, and England put his home run over the edge of the 30-foot high fence. One and one pitch. He offers it the curveball. It's going to stay foul. One and two. Brother Richard in the house. He looks a little nervous down in the dugout. I don't know why. Maybe he's doing some pull-ups. So two outs. He got bases full of rockets. Oh, and England with a single God. in the center field. That's going to get down. That's going to score Mount Raymer. And they're going to hold Ward. Who is Jackson England? So one two pitch, he rips it to center field for another hit. And it's now five to now five to nothing Rockets. Good job nine. So Givens offered it the first pitch last time. And a double to center field. Here's the pitch. And he swings at this one again. That's gonna be a foul ball. That's gonna drift out of play. Yeah, Rockets are definitely coming up here wanting to hit. Has Kozar, I mean not Kozar, has Rusty been in the windup this whole time? Since the bases have been loaded here. Okay. Right. Here's the 0-1. Oh. And there's a curveball that caught Givens between the one and the five. Middle of the back. He's trying not to move. I mean, I don't think he could reach it. If, if he, he wanted to yeah. rub it, he can't he reach can't it. Rub it. Oh, yeah, he's doing the back, the reverse oh, yeah. arch. He's like, he's oh. doing the arch. The reverse arch. He's like, Coach, Coach Z, help me out. Oh, he's going to be so mad about that. God, he wanted to hit. That's going to infuriate him. Well, but it is six to nothing, Rockets. And there's really nothing that he could have done to get out of the way of that one. That was literally the middle of his back. That brings up Cody Fogelman. It's just the thud that accompanies that hit. Yeah. So three runs are now in for the Rockets in the second. And Rusty gets a generous strike call. Angel's throw goes over Rusty. The runners remain at third. Nice crowd. Lots yeah, of students. RBI. Swing and a miss by Fogelman. Hey, Joel. Patton is umpiring at Maumel tonight. One and two now. Base is still loaded. Two outs. Ward, Castillo, and Givens on the bases for the Rockets. Cody takes a ball outside. Two and two now. Here's a pitch. Cody takes a wrap at it. It's foul. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll try the two two again. Mm. And Cody's going to take a call, nice third pitch. strike on a curveball. Nice pitch. So the Rockets leave the bases loaded, but they do score three runs.
Okay, we're back here in the top of the third inning now. Central Tigers are going to move back to the top of their lineup with Gabe Lawrence, sophomore. Mason Chambers back out there to work, and as all six outs have been by strikeout. And he's going to start off Lawrence with a curveball for a strike. Swing and a miss. That fastball sweeped all the way across the plate. Very deceptive. 0-2. Lawrence struck out his first at-bat. Mason put a little something extra on that one. His fastball low, but he, he reached back up for that one. Here's a one-two pitch. Try the slider, it stayed high. Two-two now, as there's activity now down in the central bullpen. Mason has a good fastball, he's been relying on the off speed stuff a lot tonight. As that was a curveball that missed. It's 3 2 now. And the pitch. That fastball stays inside. Ball four. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. I haven't seen Central prove they can catch up with Mason's fastball yet. I'd like to see him keep pounding. Yep, yeah, keep on just just make him beat you at this point. You got a six-run lead. The only thing you don't need is another fastball just misses. Fastball low. Nice crowd here today. You get a lot from Little Rock Central. Little Rock Central, of course, they don't have a home baseball field this year because they're redoing. There's a nice pitch. Another fastball. Hard strike. Two and two. Little Rock Central adding some academic buildings to the their campus, and to do that, they need a place to keep all the construction trucks. And so they decided that the baseball field was going to be the parking lot for the construction trucks. And so they Why don't. Are they getting a new field? Sorry. Well, they're going to. Yes. Yeah, they they'll get their field back after the construction is done on the academic buildings. But as of right now, you got some backhoes and dump trucks in right field, and so. They're having to play their games at UALR's facility. Not a bad consolation. 3-2 pitch. Mason throws over to first. Joe has to leap over the sliding runner to catch that. I thought we were going to play this game at UALR. We were at we the end. But we we're, were going to play it yes, or Saturday, and that got, or I don't know, it's been no, moved, around, no. moved around a lot. Oh. And there's a drive into center field. Brooks is charging in on it. His first step was back, but he recovers. Make the catch. They'll bring up the number three hitter for the Rockets. This time it's Luke Lawrence. He's a senior. For the Tigers. They don't even look the same. So one out. 
leadoff runner on base via a walk. Luke's brother Gabe down there at first base. Nothing Fastball nothing. inside, it pops out of Owen's glove. Despite somebody yelling, go, 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 nobody moves. I think there might have been a cross-up on that because as soon as the pitch happened, Mason started patting his chest saying, that was my fault. So 1-0. That might explain why he popped out of Owen's glove. Be expecting something different. Curveball, ground, that's into left field. That's a first base hit for the Rocket. Gosh, first base hit for the Tigers. This is Sharp ground ball single into left field. Coach Dylan Owens is going to go out there and talk to Mason for a moment. Looks like August Taylor is who has been warming up in the non-bullpen in right field. Mason is at about 57 pitches now. So that was the first hit he's allowed, but he walked a couple, hit a couple, had, does have six strikeouts. Looks like they're going to leave him in there. From our angle, we can't really see if anybody is working in the Rocket bullpen. I, I, I do see, I do see there is some movement down there in the Rocket bullpen. I will go report and be back. We have our on the on the scene reporter Lauren Hoover. Oh, I could totally do this, like be amiibo go and. Like... Big cut, swing and a miss by Kevin Russi. Cleanup hitter for Central. Fastball stays high. First drill threat the Central has posed this game. Got runners on first and second with just one out. Curveball, that one drops in there on the inside corner. One and two. Lane's calling for the letter high fastball. I agree. Here it is. Said the curveball behind the head. So the runners are going to pop, move down to second and third. Two and two now. We do the runners advance after that. That was a curveball over the over and behind the head of Rusi, and that gets back to the screen. Long look. Time called and granted. Um, I'm back from um, our bullpen. We've been anxiously awaiting the. I know uh, you report. haven't had to stop and visit. You know I'm kind of popular. Um, Jake Fures and Duncan Wilkes are both warming up. The thought swing and that's fouled off of the plate. Barely got a piece of it. According to Connor Eckert, through our hand signaling, uh, Duncan it would be coming out of the pen. Here's the two two again. Her nice. ball drops it in there. Beautiful pitch. Just froze a batter. Yeah. Froze Rusi there at the plate. His knees buckled. And that's a big strikeout with a runner on third base and only one out. So now there's two outs. Still runners at second and third. But now two outs. Brings up big third baseman Brock Bicklemeyer.
Misses inside. 1 0. Certainly more comfortable with a six run lead, but you know Mason wants to keep these guys on the bases. Fastball threw it right by him. Strike well, one. When he's gotten himself into trouble and we see the issues with control or command, it's when runners are on. So I like I want to see him like continue to do what he's doing here. It's been great. Give him the confidence that he needs. I mean maybe he doesn't need confidence, I don't know, but Okay, his mom says yes. Here's a one one. Fastball high. No, he didn't hear that. Bickelmeyer struck out at his first step out. Had a great play earlier with a hard hit ball from Bauer Day. Two and one. Here's the pitch. Yes. There's a fastball yes, yes. right there. Strike two. Not sure why Bickelmeyer didn't like that one. That call that was that was there. Well, you know, I don't think he did it on purpose. Two two pitch. Now we got runners in second and third and. Don't say that. Chris will correct you for some reason. There is. Chris Collins batting not to be used outside of Ricky Bobby. Fastball high. Three and two count now. Brock, one of the many seniors and alums of junior deputy on both of these teams. Nice swing and a miss. Strike three and a high fastball. Nice job by Mason. And he leaves the runner stranded. And the end of th at the, end of the two and a half, it's six nothing Rockets. That's some confidence. Bauer Day up to the plate. We were just talking about his last at bat. Hit a hard hit ball directly at Brock Bickemeyer, who made the play across the diamond to first base. New pitcher for Central. This is number six, August Taylor. Replaced in left field is my relative and second cousin, Fisher DeClerc. Ball hit high to right fielder Gabe Lawrence. He's there. He is unable to make the grab. Bauer is able to reach second as a result. It just, it looked like he was there. Um, maybe club, uh, close the glove prematurely, but. Yeah. So that was Gabe Lawrence out there. 
Just unfortunate, flicked off of his glove. That brings up Owen Pierce. Owen blooped in little single into right field, his last at bat. And now with the runner on second for the first time, they're going to get their signals straight. Looks like Cam Russi's now catching, right? Yep, Cam Russi is. He went from pitcher to catcher. They flip flopped. Yep. Well, no. No. Taylor they, wasn't no. catcher, but Russi. Yep. Yes. Very good. Owen shows bunt, pulls back the high strike. I'm sorry, the high pitch for ball one. Third, Bicklemeyer's close at third, close at first. We'll see if he shows bunt again. He does not. Takes a curveball up high. It was good. It just stayed up a little high for him. Oh, and right. Owen he turns on that one. Left field. Left field is just DeClark back, is just back, back just back, and he makes the catch. Great catch, Fisher to Clark. That is the second time this season that Owen has hit one deep to the wall in left field, but it was caught. Good catch, Fisher. So, good contact. Hey, good job, O. Brings up Miles Raymer. Miles walked his last at bat. Here's a pitch. Raymer mm. rockets one down the third baseline, but well foul. Let's go, Miles. Stay aggressive. Here's a pitch. Curveball. That one loops in there. But okay. Not yours. Not yours, two four. Two strikes now in Miles. Here's the kick and the pitch. Oh, man. Miles turns on an inside fastball, but he's going to hit that one, that one over is, the rocket bullpen. That one's in tick territory. <laughs> There's a little creek that runs along the field. Here's the 0-2. Nope, they'll look back to second. <laughs> now here comes the pitch. Oh, Miles man. Kind of gets jammed by that. That's also in the bad spot. spot. Not a boy. Bad spot for the Tigers. Good spot for Miles Raymer. Bowers at third. He's looking so home. So that was a little bloop over the first baseman's head, and that landed about a foot fair. That's a hit, right? That's a hit, of course. That moves Bauer Day to third base. Now moves back to the top of the rocket lineup with Brooks Ward. Or does a strike out and a walk? One out, Bauer Day at third. There goes Raymer. Oh, nice and, hit. And oh my gosh. That was a rocket that Brooks Ward just hit. Miles Raymer was stealing on the pitch. Atta and boy. that ball, I don't know how. I almost got who? Miles running to second base. Oh, see. The umpire to call say that ball just missed Miles. I was gonna say, Brooks, uh, the Air Force commit, uh, Air Force had a big win. This weekend, upset number 15, Dallas Baptist, with a walk-off two-run home run, three-run home run. Um, tend it. Big win for them. Is that moves the Rockets to 7 to nothing now in that RBI single from Ward. Throw over. He slides back in safely. With a runner on third. Interesting. Y'all know how I feel about it. Well, no, we do know how you feel about it. That's what I said. I said y'all know how I feel oh, about they, it. Uh, yes. Here's a pitch. Yeah, that's Joe a strike. A Ooh, maybe not. Pitch low. So, so, so the first and third, one out. There goes Brooks. 
and Joe Skies went into center field. Not going to be deep enough, but it'll be deep enough to tag Raymer. And there goes Raymer. So Joe gets a sack fly, and it's now 8 nothing nice Rockets. So Griffin with the catch. So RBI. Grant leaves that one up and out. Brings up Almendinger. Brooks has gotten dirty over there. Cozart building the pickoff attempt by Taylor. Brooks takes off, sky high hit, right field. Gabe Lawrence is there. Um, okay, at first. And that was our side. Sorry, the scoreboard said one out. I'm like, why are we running? Okay. Mason Chambers still working on the bump for the Catholic High Rockets. Defense remains the same from left to right, behind the plate, the whole bit. Kicking the pitch, comes across, strike one, swinging. Another swing there. I believe this is the DH. Young. Yep, it is. Wow, fouls that one off into the central dugout. And, uh, man, uh, I think that's the second baseman in there. Gaines almost took one to the head. He literally just ducked, and it hit the – Underneath the first out, from sorry, the first base dugout, which at Lamar Porter is the visitor's dugout. Mason overthrows that one up and high. Once you count. I don't know if you could see in that foul ball into the Tigers dugout, that missed the face of a kid sitting in the back by, might have skimmed his face. No, I told him. I did tell him that. Strike foul. three. There's the first out. Was that a foul tip? No, foul tip on the, yeah. Was that it? And Owen squeeze it. Good job, O! Oh! Those were excellent nachos tonight. First baseman, Cozart. Um... Here comes the pitch. It is overthrown, low, bounced, does all sorts of things. And on top of all that, it was a ball. 
Well, I, I thought that, would, that didn't need to be said. Swing and a miss. Cozart struck out his first at bat here. On deck is Fisher DeClerc, who is in for the pitcher, Taylor, playing left field. Another foul ball into the central dugout. Uh, check swing, one and two. Very close stance by Cozart. Swing and a miss, beautiful fastball. Strike three, two outs. Mason snaps that glove down to catch the ball. As I said, Fisher to Clerk, number eight. His daddy and me are first cousins. And he is awesome. You may know him, Chris to Clerk. Been around the Little Rock music scene for quite a while. Ball one high. Looks a lot like his daddy. Has that gorgeous curly hair that I did not get in the family. Another pitch stays high. 2-0. Oh. Looking One. for my aunt, who is a regular at Church League basketball, but I don't see them here tonight. There's a strike on the inside half. We're in the top of the fourth inning now. It's eight to nothing Catholic. Fastball stays high. There's a strike. strike. On a three one fastball right there. Check it in in a non conference matchup. Lorac Christian versus Cabot going into the bottom of the six. Cabot still down by three. Ball four stays down there. So. Mason's at 74 pitches. Conway has increased his lead over Northwood. Nine North strikeouts Rock. through three and two thirds. Conway's margin currently against North Little Rock has now increased by four runs, making it seven nothing. Here's to be a home game, top of the fifth. Conway up to bat. Swing and a miss on that high fastball. Hard to lay off those. There we go. One and two. And I was a little bit the game changer. I was a little behind on game changer. He's actually at 85 pitches. You are. So a this behind. was, yeah. So if he can get through this, it'll probably be as like, this is the longest inning. This is what we needed, though, with a lot of games this week. Here's a one, two. Nice. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Nice catch by Pierce. Yeah. Way to go, Owen! And that's the 10th strikeout out of the 12 outs that the Rockets have recorded. Hey, nice job, Mason Chambers. And we'll go into the bottom of the fourth inning with.
Jackson, England. We're moving to the bottom of the fourth inning with the Rockets leading 8 to nothing. Jackson, England sets out the plate. He's 2 for 2 with 3 RBI. Home run and a single. Swings the first pitch, slices it foul. Hey, why to be aggressive? Here's a pitch. Curveball. Must be a little too low there. That was a tough one to lay off of. Yeah, he does. He's talking to. He's he's probably talking to Bradley Here's Ward. Here's a one-one. One. My That's guess is fastball he just, outside. He just slipped Bradley Ward about a twenty and asking Bradley to tweet out his son's home run. Is that what we just did? What? No, I was just joking. Chris was like, "Does does Lay know his son's at bat?" Here's a two-one. Oh, boom! Three for three for England Thank and a line drive single up the middle. Sometimes. True, we have a lot of games this week, but I have a nominee for State Farm Player of the Week from this game. That's third sharp hit of the day. Brings up Jackson Givens. Givens is one for one with a double and was hit by a pitch. Here's a kick in the throat. Fastball stays high, 1-0. You know what, too, Lane? He's been swinging at the first pitch, like. He's just been swinging. <laughs> I just like it when he swings. You got to swing to hit. He's a 1-0. So I hear. Throw over to first. Well, no one really cares how many walks Slade Caldwell gets. It's his hits, right? Slade Caldwell doesn't walk. If he's about to walk, we just hit him. Here's a pitch. Good cut. Good cut. Just over the top of that one. You're not, are you are you calling your one son one. the Gatorade player? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Slade Caldwell's going to go after and get that ball. But I'm happy to see Jackson doing that. Gibbons fists one. That could be trouble. It is trouble. Oh, wow. Luke Lawrence. And that's, nope. No, did he drop he it? He dropped it. It did hit oh, the ground. Oh, man. So that's going to be a little bloop single. And good job by England to get to second base. I thought he had it. No. Uh, it bounced. Oh, it just got off. No, it, it, yeah. it, it, it bounced. He just bounced straight up to him. So it was over the shortstop's head, but he was running after it bat with his back to us, and it hit the ground and bounced straight up to him as he ran into it. But England heads up to get down to second base because he had to kind of freeze on that at first. He was going for the Thomas Duke OBJ over the shoulder basket catch. Correct. So, two singles, very different types, <laughs> by a couple Jacksons. Uh, and Cody gets puts a charge in the high one. That looks like it's going to be caught. Oh, excellent Beautiful catch. Beautiful catch. Excellent catch by Gabe Lawrence. That's a run-saving catch. It sure. is. You got to love baseball, right? I do. Two innings ago, Gabe has a routine fly ball that he yeah, didn't catch. Yeah, it's weird. And then, and then on that one. He makes a really nice running catch on it. Yeah, running straight back. And Hayden Rofe is going to go run for Givens, and my guess is he's going to come in and play now for Givens at third, which is good because I have to go watch my daughter play you softball now. You get I mean, to go. I'm sorry, I get to go watch eight-year-old softball now. So that is going to be a pinch run, not a courtesy run. A lot of time writing in a little notebook. I love umpires in their little notebooks. If I was an umpire, remember, I would lose my notebook all the time. You remember when uh, Coach Jones got his warning and was bent was a uh, sent to the dugout for timeout? No, I don't and he, remember that. Yeah, and you and he pulled out his little notebook and you talked all about him writing in the notebook. I did not. That yes. would not be very sportsmanlike. Okay. But that was anyway. Then our feed dropped. Is that what it was? It, well, it was like yeah. uh, my. Uh, my five, battery died. Bauer Day's batting now, 1-0. Oh, Worked out for low. everyone. Oh! And Bauer Day tr puts a charge into one. That's in the center Cole field. Griffin, able to catch it. England tags. Two outs now. 
Real good contact by Bauer. Yep, good contact. And they'll bring up Owen Pierce. England's got to tie his shoe. All right, now we're ready to go. Uh-oh. What's going to happen here? Coach, is it Moore? Coach Moore? It looks like they're going to go talk to the pitcher. There's nobody in the bullpen, so I don't know if they're going to make a switch or not. In an eight nothing game, you're gonna call. Well. Yeah, yeah. It's always it's a learning opportunity. Reps. All right, so that was likely just to set up a first and third situation. There are two outs, though. Brings up Owen Pierce. Owen Pierce flew out deep to right field, left field, I'm sorry. And they called the mound visit to set up the fake to third, throw to first pickoff play. Yeah, my guess is that um, this is a new spot for August Taylor to be in. Throw over. Rofe dives back in. Two outs. You got England at third. Rofe at first in an 8 nothing game. Here's the pitch to Owen. Strike one. Fastball there. Definitely getting dark out here now. I'll say all that. Um, August Taylor pitched five innings against CAC in their one-run loss on April 1st. And another throw over. This might be the first time this season that I've shared Lauren's feelings about throws to first base. Well, it just doesn't make sense. But in that outing, he uh, only gave it five hits, only one run, none earned, two walks, Here's a pitch. Four strikeouts. And there goes a runner. And now because Hayden was running on the pitch, we're going to get about three more throws over to first base, I would uh, imagine. I don't think so. Owen, two now to Owen. Long at bat here, it feels like Owen Pierce. One, two count, two outs. Rove takes off. That's going to be a called strike Call three. Strike three. And they'll end the inning for the Rockets on that. Yep. A couple hits, a couple minutes.
All right, we're oh, back. Okay. We'll get it. Not yet. We have wholesale changes. All right. That's an homage to Rusty Short. Rusty Short. Where's this Rusty? This time, this. Rusty Short. We have wholesale changes. We have wholesale subs. <laughs> All right, so Love I'm going to reset the defense for you. And going then he's going to leave. And then I'm going to leave. Uh, Noel Lewis is now in left. Brooks Ward still in center. Bowman Stein taking over in right. Zayden Sharp. Who is making his varsity debut? He is. I have confirmed that. I've looked. All we thought he was wrong. Lane was with me. Sophomore Aiden Sharp is taken over at third base. Miles Raymer still at second. I'm sorry, short. Hayden Rofe now at second base. Joseph Whitehead playing first, and Tanner Yates behind the plate. Team money. Uh, did you say who's pitching? And Duncan Wilkes takes over on the mound. Yeah, number seven, Duncan Wilkes. We have not seen Duncan since uh, Little Rock Southwest game. We had a lot of rain, so. I mean, really antsy to see him back on the bump. Fouled straight back. You got to go. You need to leave. Okay. Bye, Chris. Go Rockets. I don't think that's even on. I think, oh, yeah, it is. Maybe. I'm just giving Chris a hard time. Go Turtles. Um, all right. Nice pitch. boy, And, yep, yep, he knew it. He knew it. He knew it. Nice work there by Duncan Wilkes. Center fielder Co. Griffin. Co. is a hunting buddy of Asher Hamilton. First pitch is inside and high. Shin music. Not quite as close as it looked from Co.'s perspective, but he rightly protected the noggin. Looked pretty close on Heat. TV. Move your noggin. <laughs> All right, next uh, fastball in for strike one. One on the count. Ooh, big swing and a miss at a uh, high curveball. Fouls that one up and out of play along the first base line. Nice job by Co to fend off that fastball. At least one set of Duncan's grandparents are in the house, probably both, but I've seen the ones that drive in from Cave City. Oh! Wow. Got him flinching. Yeah, that, uh, we could have grabbed that one. That might have been a strike three moment. Yeah. 2-2. Two -two. What do you call uh, home, oh. home, home wanted to know if you went. He said, did he go? First base uh, umpire said he did not. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. Your if, hearing is far better. Than well, I don't know if Team Money asked for the appeal or not, or that's what I'm guessing, hmm. which is a veteran move. Yeah, yeah. There's yes, the got him. Her ball for strike three. Yeah, two, two Ks. Luke Lawrence. No, you can't. Nice pitch. Nice pitch. Hey, that's a great spot, Duncan. Nice pitch. It's all right. Um, no, uh, it's too late for that, Lane. Goes Corrective back with, action is with not going to happen. Fast ball. Huh? Zayden Sharp with the, Good with the field. Good throw The field at third. Whitehead there to make the play at first. Nice outing, Duncan Wilkes. Three up, three down. No blood drawn, top of the, well now.
I don't know the answer. Number 27, Connor Connor Eckert looks like he is in to hit for Miles Raymer. I like the happy Gilmore wing, uh, warm up steps and swing it. He's not the only one that does. He's not the only oh, one. Oh, he turns on that one. Get out of here. Dang it. Back to left fielder Fisher to Clark. He makes the catch. I like it. The dugout went nuts. Yes. First pitch. It was the it was the three step yeah. warm up. It's the, it's the Connor was over at the house last night. Steak, steak salad, banana pudding was served to all but two of the seniors who couldn't make it. Here comes Brooksy. Still not his walk up song. That's all right. Looks like. Um, Whitehead will be batting next on deck. Change up, up and outside for ball one. <laughs> curve ball that didn't curve for ball two. Oh. That one is back. It is gone. The question is, it is definitely fair. Yep. There is our no signal. No doubter. Out a boy. Solo home run. Back to back games for Brooks. Here comes the Air Force commit as he comes home for another run. Out a boy. That will increase the lead by one. It is now nine to nothing. And here comes first baseman Joseph Whitehead. Okay, fastball up for ball one to Joseph, our first baseman. Oh, ball outside. Hey, Took a swing. Cut. I like it. Be aggressive. That zone expands a bit when so you're up he, nine to so zero. He right, is he a right-handed first baseman to also then play third base? I think so. Yeah. I don't know the answer to that. Though. I would think so, right? These are things I should know by now, but I just I don't have any short-term memory. <laughs> Let's just be honest. I just don't. With these phones, we don't have to remember anything. <laughs> All right, one, two count, one out. Oh. That pitch looked tough to lay it, off of, it, but he, he wisely does. He flinched, though. That had a little sharp curve there at the end. Two, two, one out, nobody on. I'd like him Light to. Up to I'd, that. I'd like for him to get closer to the plate. Bouncer. Full count. Bowman's done with the retrieve. Teammates cheering him on. Yeah, I think, I yeah, I was going to say that was Coach Jones, uh, Zach Jones, but he's at the first base. Oh, big swing and a miss. Big swing, strikeout. Oh, what pitch had a lot of movement on it. Yeah, good it pitch. did. It was a nice pitch. It was a good pitch. All right. Grant returns. Grant popped up to uh, right field last, I believe. I'll double check that, or we could all just say that's what happened. He struck out at his first step out. I do know that. So let's figure this out. Oh, there's a shot. No, just foul. Man, he stroked that one, unfortunately, down the first base line, out of play. One one the count. I like to see us barreling up the ball. That's uh, 
That's yeah. a good switch. Okay. Curveball up and outside. Yeah, I was right. Bottom of the third. I was the third out. It might have been the incredible catch, uh, but he did line out to Gabe Lawrence in right field. Fastball high. Oh, yeah, the over-the-shoulder. Yeah, the over-the-shoulder yeah, catch. Yeah, the, the yeah. run-saving catch. The, it was for sure, a run-saving catch. Three and one. No, sir. Four balls. Grant standing on first. All right, B. Stein. Here we go. Um. Okay. The powerful lefty, Bowman Stein. Lots of bat head speed. Fastball outside. Ball one. Everybody's excited. I think even the central dugout is screaming for Bowen. Well. Can't blame them. I'd like to see this one go. Just takes one. That's right. Popped oh, up high, that, sky high. Boy, that's a high ball. Chris Gaines, second baseman, is back there yeah. to make the catch. Yeah. And that will be the third out. Moving on to the seventh inning. Cam, Cam Russie, Cam Russie starts, starts it for the Tigers. First pitch is fastball, strike one swinging. Russie, we've seen a pitch. Russie had, um, let's see, I was just looking at his outing. For 69 pitches, he pitched two innings, four hits, six runs, five earned, three walks, three strikeouts. And then we see him immediately catching when Taylor came in to pitch for the Tigers. That one gets away from him, 2-1. Russie also plays first base. I think Russie can do anything. Fastball, fouled out of play or into the home dugout which, as Chris Givens hates, is on the third base side. If you saw it was set up here, it'd make total sense, though. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody on, nobody out. Duncan Wilkes on the mound. Big swing and a miss. Tanner that gets drops. out of Tanner's hand. Goes Tanner to the does make the throw. Out of boy. Hey, good job, T-Money. Good job, Joseph. T-Money smacks the glove, but he got there in time, made the perfect throw to Whitehead. Our outfield camera seems to be a little bit behind the action, but hopefully we'll catch up here in a second. Do what? Our outfield camera, uh, the one that comes to home plate, 
the home plate view over the shoulder is a little bit behind. The audio? Yeah, that's that's pretty usual. No offense. Well, but we're just kind of giving them tips on what's going to happen. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to be able to slow that down. That's a beautiful Ooh, pitch, Duncan. Beautiful pitch. pitch. Michael Meyer, third at bat, first two, he has struck out. 3 0 count, though, way ahead. Michael Meyer is looking to hit, though. He doesn't want to walk. That pitch is inside and drop for ball four. Michael Meyer will take a base. That brings up DH Justin Young. Oh. I guess we have a substitute. Let me see here. Uh, this is Voth, V O T H. Ezra, first name. You got it, Duncan. That's ball just outside. Nice work, T. As I said, it's been a minute since we've been able to see Duncan. That last game was against Little Rock Southwest, which feels like a year ago. It wasn't quite that long ago, but it was on April 2nd. So, in nearly two weeks, feels like an eternity. T Money's going to take a break. He's going to go visit with Duncan. T Money's sporting the headband like he does. Also, looks like he got a little bit of a haircut, kind of looking good. Gives a glove dab to Wilkes, and here we go. 3-0 count, again, way ahead. Duckins found himself in this situation. Now two batters in a row. Bicklemeyer at first. You got it, Duncan Wilkes. Let's go. Forget Bicklemeyer over there. Let's just go straight to the batter. Never mind. Don't do any of that. Throw over to first base to Whitehead, who makes the catch while Bicklemeyer is between his legs safely on the back. Voth also has kind of an open stance, not quite as much as we've seen earlier. That one is outside, does not catch the outside corner of the plate. Hey, work through it, Duncan, work through it. You got it, bud. Just right to T, right to T. Is it still the sixth inning? I thought we were in the seventh. Am I wrong? Yeah. I don't know, but okay. uh, I'll check Game Changer. Yeah, see what they've got. Sure, no problem. Be happy to do that for you. I'm right on top of that, Rose. So Tanner has another visit. Okay, this is Hallam. We are in the top of the sixth, Lane England. Okay. Well, for some reason, the scoreboard had the sixth on the last inning as well. Well, you know. It's a volunteer position, so. Well, I'm right there with you. I, uh, with all the. Oh, what, nice job! First pitch, fastball, no doubter, on the strike. Nice to see some heat. Yeah, forget all the extra. Let's just go yep. fastball, fastball, fastball. You with me, Lane? Oh, I'm with you. Forget those guys. Don't care about them. Oh. Okay, got him swinging beat. on a changeup. No runners. Lane um, was not having a seizure. He was uh, letting uh, Tanner know that the ball was at his feet. Yeah, he was kind of looking around like he didn't know where it went. You know me, never to, never one to hold back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can barely hear you from just two feet. Yeah. You are quietly speaking into the mic. Uh, no, nah, I'm pretty sure I blasted Come on, everybody's Duncan. eardrums on that one. Yes! Attaboy, Duncan! There we go. He comes back from basically 
eight balls pitched in a row, strikes out Hallam, number 10. This brings up left fielder Fisher D. Clark. Or to Clark. D. Clark to Clark. Well, they you know, they say it, no, no. They say it both. Or look, Kansas. No, they so. say it. No, they say it both ways. Up in uh, Pocahontas, where uh, his dad grew up. Yeah. Oh, Inside pitch. fastball. Hey, good place to start. Coach Rusty Byrne uh, over there uh, visiting with somebody over there. Did you did you see this uh, short sleeve kind of hoodie uniform thing that he's wearing? I do. See. It's very different. I wonder if he had that custom made. Nice job, uh, T. Fastball high. Yeah, up and out. Fastball. You missed just barely on that first one. Fisher, I believe, is a sophomore. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right Okay, two on the count, two outs, two men on. Long look in, Fisher requests time. He is granted. We're not holding the bag. We're not messing with that. First and third, playing behind the bags. Oh, nice pitch. pitch. Gets out of Tanner's hand. The runners are going to advance. Go from first to second, now being on second and third. Three, one count, two outs. Hey, go to work right here, seven. Let's go, T. Let's go, T. Come on, D, come on, D. Duncan with the dark arm sleeve. Duncan is one of the stars of the uh, – Bullpen review for the Catholic High Rockets. Pitch is high. Nice job. That will be ball four. Thank you, job, T. Coach Owen's going to come out and have a visit. Okay, short break there. Coach Owen giving a little pitching advice to Duncan. Base is loaded now. This is a. There you go. George Fastball. Knox, I believe. That's correct. Fastball for a strike. Base is loaded. Two outs. Duncan trying to pitch himself out of trouble here in the top of the sixth. There's another nice good pitch. Work, good team. block by Tanner. On your pace, seven. Somewhere Asher is rolling his eyes. <laughs> Guaranteed. He's ready. Hey, you're right there. You're right there. You're right there. Well, that was an almost a probably a strike on some of the other batters, but this um, this batter's not uh, six three. Two on the count. 
Yes, 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 yes. 2-2. Two, two. Battled back here. I mean, Knox, George Knox here, he's got the pants above the knees, the tall white socks. With I like the, them. I yeah, like with them. the stirrups. He looks like 6'5 with those long he does lines. have long legs. He, he does have some long still, legs. Still getting there. All right, Duncan, long look in. Who cares about the third base? He does try to do that. Oh, pitch is high, just slightly. Hey, you're right there, 3-2. Let's go. Let's go, seven. Look, Bicklemeyer's over on third. He kind of jumped out like, hey, I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. Duncan in Fletch. I think he was trying to coax him into a ball. Yes. Big swing and a miss. Good job, Duncan. All right, Hayden Rove, second baseman tonight, sophomore, first at bat. Takes a swing at that change up curveball thing. Missed badly. That's his mom to my left. She was uh, not happy with the swing either. Yep, Ooh, that one bounces in. Lays off of it. I don't know he how does, he did it. He laid off the. the Bouncing ball, a few feet for the plate. Counts 1-1. One, one. When Jackson played junior uh, baseball, do you remember we went down to? Um, Outside fastball. Orange Beach. Yes. And there was the kid who was clearly much more mature. He'd already signed with, like, the Minnesota <laughs> Twins. <laughs> he had a mustache. Or the Blue Jays. Uh, Jackson threw one in, bounced similarly, and the kid <laughs> hit it to the wall. Oh, that's Double. right. That's right. That's right. Ooh, oh, good. hard hit ball. Third base. That will be a base hit. Into left field, line drive, whatever you want to call it, it worked. I don't, I haven't noticed before, but Hayden's bat, blue with orange detail there in the I, barrel. I think that is the same bat that Brody McGee uses, and they okay. both swing it well. All right, Zayden Sharp, sophomore, third baseman. As we were corrected earlier, at least argue with Chris. Curveball comes in. That should be a strike, it's but it was high. not called a strike. A little high. That was a, that was not high. That was a great pitch. But maybe because maybe again, I keep learning. Zayden's taller. I don't, you know, zone oh, yeah. changes. I would I would have called it. Goes back There's with a fastball. A Absolutely strike one one. All right. So I know y'all don't care about six A West, but Rogers Heritage up there is putting the hammer down on Fayetteville. 2-7 in the bottom of the seventh. Oh, you wanted to swing. Landon Schaefer, one of the aces for the Bulldogs, the Purple Dogs, rather. 
Gave up 11 hits, seven runs, all of which were earned. Oof. Oof. All right, here we go. Back, back at it. Gabe Lawrence starting off for the Tigers. Lane, tell us who's pitching. 
Well, that would be Cannon Burks of basketball uh, specialty. Uh, he was out last year with uh, arm injury. I don't know that he had. I assume so. Injury, but uh, sophomore, excellent kid, really long and lean. And who's catching now for the Rockets? That'll be Ty Gibbons. So we got ninth grade and ninth grade. No, they're both tenth graders. Oh, that's right. Yeah. See, my bad. Both tenth Ty, graders. Well, um, Ty, do you, Ty may be ninth. I don't know what grade Ty's in. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Ty is ninth grade because. Yeah. So anyway, sorry. Pitcher, just, sophomore, catcher, freshman. But this is Ty's Ty's debut, varsity so. debut. Yeah, for sure. Like Zayden Sharp at third. I'm excited to see him. He's um, he's fun to watch. Yeah, I got a text from Lane the other day during JV saying Ty Gibbons is the real deal. He had two throwouts in one inning. They tested him against and then Lone they tested against him Lone again um, against Lone Oak. It was yeah. impressive. He has an also an excellent ninth grade catcher and Ryder Engel. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, it was high. Count's now full. Uh, notably, uh, Burks, we had our first illegal pitch call at his first outing. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to bring it to bring up bad stuff, but he has, is not doing that same little hitch that he was Fouled doing. up and out of play, gonna. Whitehead's there, but. No, nope, too far over. It's behind the. Behind the fence. American flag. Through the oak tree. Shook some pollen loose. Yeah, he was, that was tapping that. That bit. was the JV game. No, it wasn't. He came in on varsity. So I wouldn't have been here. Oh, straight, straight back to Burks, who flips it over to Whitehead underhanded. We just have our own conversations. Yeah, there is a baseball game going on, they tell me. One out, two outs to go for the Rockets. Here comes Co Griffin. Co's been at center field tonight. My dad is texting me disaster pitch this week. Well, I'm sure he does, Dad, but it's not tonight. Good pitch. Nice pitch. Oh, see, Lisa, Lisa, thank you, Lisa Gibbons. Cannon is also a freshman. See, you're conflating your firecracker history. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Lane used to coach firecracker basketball. That pitch is in there for a strike one. Thank you, Lisa. So we got ninth grade on ninth grade. I was right. Um, but now we're going to focus here in a little bit on how Chris Gibbons was wrong. <laughs> so why don't you take over play by play while I work on that. Okay. Kind of a change up slider that stayed up for ball two, two balls, one strike, one out top of the seventh Cannon Burks pitching Ty Gibbons catching. There's a solid pitch. Um didn't uh, like something about it, so three balls, one strike. Oh, that one's a little bit outside, so four balls for a walk. A little pressure there. We have a shutout going. Um, oh, no pressure. Here comes senior Luke Lawrence. Looks, I think, struck out his last at bat. I can't remember what he did. I think it's four time up. This will be a tester for Cannon. Luke is a yeah. good hitter. Yeah, high IQ up there too. Mm, thought it was outside. I agree. One ball, no strikes. One out. Oh, come backer. Not going to get to the second baseman, but gets Luke out. Hey, you know, another benefit to having a 6-4 pitcher. Yes. Yep. Okay, so man on second. Tigers down to their last out. Boy, i got to find that rule right now. Take your time, Cam Russie. <laughs> And then we'll, I'll ask everybody to speed it up really quickly. Just so Chris can be wrong on air. Yeah, I know it's important to me. Because he did get me with the whole logic of the unassisted thing. Like, it makes sense. Yeah. 
Ooh, good pitch. Just didn't curb quite enough. Ball one. Man on second. Cameron Russell up to bat. Big swing oh, and fouled straight back. Cam, you got to give me a, I need a little bit more time. Landed on the dugout. Um, one ball, one strike, smart. two outs. Ken Burke, freshman. Burke's freshman. Pitching to Ty Gibbons, freshman. And that's Gibbons with B's, double B's. That's what I said. I didn't say that you didn't, but for those Ooh, at home. Pitch, curve. Two so balls, one strike. So pitch count results are required to be entered no later than noon the following day of competition. Straight Hard hit ball. Right to Zayden Sharp, who record the final out for the Rockets, and we get out with the shutout against the Central Tigers. That's going to do it. We're coming right back tomorrow uh, with Bryant, and the JV game will be on the JV Lamar Porter field Yeah, uh, look to Rocket Baseball Twitter for any changes to the schedule. That's the best way, rather than texting me. It's all on Twitter. Oh, I'm sorry, X. Robinson Thursday and Jonesboro Friday. Again, all seven.